Hello again, this time around I'm going to be showing you how to take a color picture, a uh, color photograph, and uh, how to make everything except one thing, or two, or three, or however many you want to leave in color. Um, so basically this will be the reverse of taking a black and white photo and making it um, into a technicolor image. So there are two ways of doing it. The easy way is essentially taking the image, making it into a black and white image, and once you've done that, you can go back to the Technicolor videos and just, you know, add the new layer, color over them, etc. Um, but we're going to use the harder technique. Um, what you want to do first is you want to duplicate the layer. So you want to have two layers that have the exact same image. You take one of the layers, doesn't really matter which at this point, and you make it into a black and white layer. Um, you don't want the black and white layer to show right now. And what you want to do is you want to select the element of the image that you want to leave in color. So for example, by the way, this is a picture that I took a long time ago in somewhere, I don't even remember, some activity. Um, so what you want to do is, let's say that we want to leave the pink headband and uh, so let's just leave the pink headband as pink. We want everything else to be black and white. Um, you can use the magic wand and select the pink colors. Um, I prefer personally to use the lasso tool. So you're going to select the area of the image that you want to be in color. For you to select multiple sections like this, you just hold down the control key on your keyboard and you keep on selecting parts of the image that you want to be in color. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out and do a, a sort of one-off for the sake of time when you're doing this in your own computer. Um, you can go ahead and pay a lot of attention to detail uh, to what you are essentially selecting. For this demonstration I'm just going to um, let's just do it quick. All right, so there we go. We've selected that. The next step is to invert your selection. So you go to Edit and you click on Invert Selection, and now you have selected everything except the section that you want to leave in color. Now you should be in the color image what you're going to do now is delete what you want to be in black and white so essentially you get this now is when the layer order comes into play so what you want to do is you want to have the black and white layer to be at the bottom All right oh sorry so you want the black and white layer to be at the bottom and there you have the effect um, what's happening is that basically you have the top layer with the color items being overlaid on the black and white image. And uh, you can do this with pretty much anything. Let's suppose, for example, that you want to select the pink headband and the green, uh, the neon green shirt to be in color and everything else to be in black and white. So you just go ahead and select those items. And again, in when you're working on your photographs, you want to do a better selection than this. You might want to scroll in, you know, zoom in and then actually pay attention to details and the edges of the colors when they break into other shades and so on but here I'm just gonna go ahead with you know the quick and easy selection 
So you go ahead and invert, edit, invert image selection. You delete what you want in black and white. You set the black and white image on the bottom. And there you have it. All right. So on the next video, I'm going to be covering some final tips, you know, small things that you can do here or there to make uh, an image look better, and uh, that'll be it. Have a good one.